That's a beautiful little species of grasshopper. Now, all grasshoppers have something in common. Was that eight pointer? Oh, baby. Look at the size of that snake. It was huge. We got a snake. Woo! <laughs> everybody I'm reptile riff welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm actually headed out to the Everglades National Park now I've been going in and out of this park for years and years ever since I was a teenager and I found all kinds of things from pythons to crocodiles uh, eagles manatees uh, bears everything okay so you never know what you're gonna find when you're out here uh, right now we're in the southern entrance of the national park so we're probably not going to see any big mammals but a friend of mine did just see a panther out here a few days ago so who knows catch up with you later all right guys if you take a look here this is this is right where we are, okay? So we're at the visitor center at the front of the park. Now, this is the part of Miami everybody likes to come to Florida for and all that. And then uh, this is pretty much the last city and this is all uh, government property, I'm pretty sure. And then that goes down to the Keys. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive from the visitor center all the way about 40 miles down to where the Everglades meets the ocean and that's Florida Bay. And this is where we find crocs and manatees and stingrays, and maybe even some sharks. Now on our way there, we're probably gonna see some alligators. We might even see pythons. I've seen pythons on this road many, many times. Recently, a, a black bear that was actually walking through Miami. So who knows what we're gonna find? Nine to five. Ah. What the heck? All right, so what you just saw is the cocoa plum. Purple plums on there that have a pit, but you can eat them when you're out here. Now, one time I actually tried them when I was out with my family and it was in a salty environment. This is more inland, this is more just fresh water. So the fruit's cool to eat, it's fine. It, it'll give you nutrition, a little bit of hydration, but if you eat it in a beach environment, because this can grow out there, um, you bite into it, it actually, it feels like you're biting into a vacuum because it's so salty it just takes all the moisture right out of your mouth and it you your whole mouth is just bone dry your tongue your cheeks everything is bone dry after one bite and you can actually hear it sucking the water out of your mouth um, which is really cool my family will probably never forget the time where I made them eat that and I didn't know that was gonna happen so All right, so what we've got here, if you look right here, okay, that's poison wood. Now, I am very familiar with the species of plant. All right, guys, now what we got here, this is actually an alligator trail. So if you look pretty close, you can see that this is where the belly will slide out. There will usually be some flattened grass or the grass is dead. Uh, now, sometimes the gators and the deer, they'll use the same trails. Um, it'll go right through here. Now, obviously, it's not that big of an alligator. It's probably like an old trail because otherwise this would be matted down. We're going to try to keep looking for as many big gators as we can this morning. The mosquitoes are insane. In my car, they have invaded my space. Um, so I'm going to go out and look for more alligators and try not to get eaten alive by things that are almost microscopic. <laughs> but um, anyway, here we go. Now, 
Now this is definitely a gator trail for a big gator. Now look at these underwater caves. This is pretty interesting. Imagine slipping right now. If I slip and my leg goes right in there, what's gonna happen to my leg? <laughs> no more leg. But yeah, you see that's actually really interesting. So gators, even a baby gator can hold their breath for hours and hours and hours. So uh, if they wanted to hunt, sometimes going in a cave is the best place. It's where all the little animals go to feel safe. You can see that from the, from the land, correct? Okay. Now all this plant life here, this is called Bacopa. Now this is actually really good. It's a native aquatic plant here in the Everglades. Now that's important because there's a lot of invasive plant life, a lot of invasive aquatic life, such as fish and, you know, water snakes, things like that. Now this is all very soft mud, so <coughs> there could be anything hiding in the mud I'm not aware of. Also, we could have more underwater caves and that would really stink if I fell into one of those. An ecosystem that supports so much life, it really doesn't have that much nutrients. So this looks like poop, it looks like vomit. This covers all of the Everglades that you see around us. So the Paraphyton has thousands of different uh, species of little bacteria, fungus, algae, all of them working together perfectly. And this is the baseline for the ecosystem out here in the Everglades. So all the little fish, all the little creatures and the little bacteria that live in this paraphyton. And then the smaller fish eat those little tiny minnows. And then the baby gators will eat those little fish and the frogs will eat those little minnows and everything like that. And then so on and so forth until you get up to the large alligators, the panthers and the birds that eat those fish and those snakes and those animals. So it's the baseline for all life out here is this brown crud. There might be a big gator out here. So I'm trying to stay low. So I don't scare it away. It's funny, there's fish trying to eat little insects on the surface here. This is a beautiful little species of grasshopper. Now all grasshoppers have something in common. They bite really hard. Now, usually the smaller insects are males, but then you have some species where they're very territorial, and that species will be uh, one that has larger males in it because the males and their testosterone helps to expand territories if it's a territorial species. Males are much smaller than females, especially when it comes to uh, things like the Burmese pythons um, and garter snakes alike. The males are much smaller than the females because the females have to defend the nest. The males they're literally, their only purpose in snake society is to mate. They don't have any other purpose other than just to survive and occasionally eat something out in the wild. Oh yeah, hey, hello. Oh, there it goes. Bye-bye. So that beautiful bird that you see right there is right next to that pond apple tree. Um, that is a little black bird with red shoulders. And that's a beautiful little bird that's here in South Florida. And it's just really nice. It's, it has its little songs, its little chirps, and it's just part of the orchestra that is the Everglades. Look at the buck. Look at the buck. Is it, was that eight pointer? Oh, baby. Oh, I've never seen deer out here. Keep filming, keep filming. 
I've never seen deer out here. That's how he knows it's safe. Isn't that kind of messed up? You can zoom in a little bit. Now what I'm going to try to do is get out of the car. Now, there's a possibility that this buck could try to potentially hit me. Guys, how cool is that? I stepped in an ant pile. Stepped in an ant pile. Dang it. Well, guys, how cool is that? I just saw my first big buck and doe. A beautiful little mating pair and got bit the heck out of by a bunch of red ants. Pretty cool. Wow, that's very painful. Very painful. I just stepped on a mound of red ants. That's very painful. But um, that was amazing. That was, Dad, when you see this footage, you're going to be blown away. Because that was a big buck. Because Florida deer, Florida whitetails are usually pretty small. Wow, that was painful. Okay, see you guys. Wow. Or the Pine Rockland, filled with the owls. It's filled with pine snakes and indigo snakes and rattlesnakes and rat snakes. It's filled with king snakes. It's filled with little mammals. It's, it's the drier area of the Everglades. You know, I think we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna look and see what we can find. This is a cool little, these little abandoned buildings. I honestly don't even know if this is abandoned, but it kind of looks like it is. So I'm gonna go in there and get a closer look. Actually out here in the Everglades National Park of all places, early in the morning, it's out here, summertime, it's beautiful. Um, now it's really hot in the sun. So a lot of the snakes at this point in the day are probably going to be hidden in the shade somewhere. So that's why we stopped at this little outpost of sorts. Um, this, the heck, am I getting bit again? I'm sorry. These red ants are gonna be the death of me. <laughs> but anyway, so this is where little geckos, they'll hide in the roof. Uh, little snakes, they'll hide under trash cans. Uh, snakes like sharp edges. Holy crap, look at this. All right, so this is something really cool I wanna talk about. Now you see how these ants have, these are all red ants and they've killed that caterpillar. That's caterpillar that they have all envenomated, that venom that they injected into me, they injected it into that poor little caterpillar. It's already past death. The venom is taking effect. Look at them, they killed that carpenter ant. You see that huge red ant looking guy right there? So that's a carpenter ant and those people are very afraid of because of their size and they have a red uh, thorax, but they don't actually, um, they don't usually bite people unless you're trying to kill it. Now they've already envenomated these creatures, so they're going to die. So the ants might as well just eat it. But these, remember, these are invasive animals. Look at this ant carrying a pebble with its jaws. Look at how much bigger and heavier that pebble must be than that ant. That is insane. Now, these little chasms right here, look at this little ecosystem. Now, you see these little chasms right here. I'm not sure if you'll know what these are. Are those from the ants, you think? They're actually not. So those are called ant lions. What is this? This is a water beetle. 
I think. Looks like a water beetle. It's all dried up though. So what happens is one of these little ants falls in to one of these little areas. These antlion larvae dig out these little territories and any ant will slide into that. And the larvae will eat the ant, the ant alive. So that's why they're called ant lions, because they make those dens and then the ants will slide into it. And that's just the larvae of a species that eventually turns into look like something like a fuzzy dragonfly. All right, so we're gonna look around here for the snakes. Now, does anybody here remember why I'm scratching and itching my butt? Because of these guys. These little mosquitoes are everywhere. If you're in the Everglades, um, I hope you're not afraid of getting Zika, okay? <laughs> or there's actually, uh, there's a couple other diseases out here with the mosquitoes, but whatever it is, I've already got it, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> My body's already been done fighting that off. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. All right, give me one second. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Ants are killing stuff. And <laughs> I don't know if it's like it's the guy from Texas Chainsaw Massacre decided to start living in the Everglades, but I don't know who the heck lives in that house, but we were in there looking for snakes and freaking someone knocked something over inside the door. So <laughs> bye bye. This cotton mouth is. This is a big, beautiful female, probably. Like I said, females are usually bigger than the males. Wow. Oh, holy smokes. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is huge. Now, snakes have a really poor sense of vision, but they have an excellent sense of smell. And it, oh, that's why they call it the cotton mouth. Oh, holy smokes. Look at the size of that snake. It was huge. We got a snake. Woohoo! Well, that's pretty cool. I saw the first turtle of the day, and it was three baby softshell turtles. So I hope we see more throughout the day. What the heck is this? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a Burmese python eating an anhinga. OMG. Oh my god. Look at this. This. That is amazing. That is absolutely incredible. I was wondering what those feathers were that we saw. I'm gonna go pull over to the side of the road. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 